Hello everyone, uh, Karthik and Jagdishan here. Today we are going to see how to create a how to create a, an array of object without using the array modifier using scripts. So this is how I have created a s uh, scripts to create a simple array of objects using uh, the uh, Python scripts. So let's see how. So I'm going to delete all the um, objects and uh, deleting it. Okay. Yes. I'm going to delete the entire objects and I'm going to use the uh, script console. So this is the script area. So once I create new, it automatically creates the uh, Python script console so that I can uh, write the py python scripts here and execute the scripts here so first we have to import bpy so bpy is nothing but uh, blender python uh, files reference files meaning you know all the blender related files blender related reference is been available inside this bpy so you can access all those blender related scripts with the help of this BPY. So again here if you see we have a, I'm going to so in the top angle so this one is X Y and Z so this area it is plus X and this one is plus Y and this one is minus X and this one is minus Y so according to the, the grade so each and every this connecting points are equal to one the scaling point is equal to one so each and every point is related to one this one is one two three four five as like that and this one comes under minus one minus two minus three this one comes under minus one minus two minus three so this whenever you are going to connect a point so if you are connecting this point or if you are connecting if you are want to add an object in this particular uh, point so 1 2 3 so it is connecting the 3 in x axis and 1 2 3 in y so it was connecting in y axis so x y x and y is 3 comma 3 so you can create an object here so let's see how i'm <coughs> So I'm going to add an uh, x counter file. Say oh, you want counter. So I want a five x object and five y object. So y counter is equal to five. Okay. So now I'm going to create a loop for executing this. So I'm going to add. So how to add a cube object? So it is very easy in Blender. So once you have a, a view here, I'm just going to click add mesh and going to add a cube. So once you once the cube is added, you can easily see so the script which was used to add a cube in Blender. So that we can right click it, select it by clicking the mouse left mouse and right click it, copy the code and we can paste paste it easily so before pasting the code I want to create the loop so I want to create a loop 5 into 5 matrix so I'm going to create a, a loop here for uh, x for our x axis in range range x counter and colon so in this loop the loop will start to execute from 0 to 5 so 0 to 5 it will execute uh, until 0 to 5 so I'm now I'm going to add an additional loop nested loop for x axis or y axis y axis in range y counter all right so now i have created an, a loop so what this loop will do 
so once you add this particular loop will execute five times and this particular nested loop will execute five times for example if it was start from 0 to 5 meaning 0 1 2 3 4 that's all so it will execute like 0 <coughs> 0 1 2 3 4 and here it will execute 0 1 2 3 4 so totally each and every loop will execute 5 so it is like execute 5 into 5 matrix once it comes to the nested uh, area so it will execute like x0 y0 and next time it start to execute x0 y1 and next time x0 y2 so once the loop is completed up to 4 for x again it started from x1 y0 x1 y1 x1 and y2 and x1 and y3 and x1 and y4 so as like that the loop will repeat until uh, the x counter become 4 and y back y counter become 4 so let's see how it was adding the objects okay then so i have deleted all those uh, you know explanation related uh, numbers over there so now I'm going to add the cube. I'm going to delete this cube already which is already present in the blender file. And right now if you see once I whenever I am adding any object here, whenever I'm deleting any object here, the related script will execute in this info window. So it is easy for us to you know uh, grab all those uh, scripts, blender related scripts and we can copy it and paste it here easily. So I'm just going to write uh, select I'm just going to select the particular you know cube adding script right clicking it copy it and I'm pasting here in this script done so uh, right now I'm going to add the default size and default things so I'm, I'm not going to uh, you know I don't want size and enter it mode okay so now if you see this is x axis and this is y and this is z axis okay so whenever the loop start to execute the x is filled with uh, the x counter meaning 0 1 2 3 4 and y is filled with 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, z axis related to 0 so this one is x so I'm going to add the x axis and here it is y axis that's it it is very simple code so now i can create a first layer of array object values so if i run the script i can create the array of objects here but now we can now the, uh, the object is added but you can see it was overriding the each and every object so I'm going to grab a, a single object just going to move so if you see that you know the three-fourth of the object is being overridden by another object so what I can do so we need to calculate each and every object uh, space so here if you see if it is the center of the object so this is the origin of the object and in from the center each and every area it is one unit one 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 so I'm going to multiply this with two so what it will do now it is so when the x axis one if the x axis is one so it is one into two is equal to two and y axis one into two is equal to two so it goes to two two example so when it x is 0 when x is in x is 0 so into 2 is equal to 0 when x is 1 into 2 is equal to 2 in x is 2 into 2 is equal to 4 
when x is 3 into 2 is equal to 6 so now it was increased by two unit two units before it was increased by one unit 0 1 2 3 now it is increased by 2 unit 2 4 6 so to bring this even number i am multiplying the uh, you know the range of values into 2 so that i can get this 2 4 6 values so that's that's why i have you know multiplying uh, the each and every value into 2 so now I'm deleting uh, the explanation scripts here and I'm going to delete all the objects which are already available here I have deleted it and I'm going to run the script once again so now you can see that all the I am uh, all the oh, all the objects are in aligned now nothing is been override okay so how to bring the z axis so I need an z axis uh, array okay so now we are going to add the z axis for that i'm going to add an additional nested uh, loop for z axis so i need a 10 layer of uh, 10 layer of these cube objects so i'm going to create a z counter and that's it so mm, aligning the codes according to that uh, to execute the z counter and i need the z axis axis also multiplied by 2 and i need z counter i need 10 layer of z counter so I'm giving as 10 so I'm going to delete an existing object av already available uh, in the 3d view so I'm going to execute the run script now okay cool so now you can see that it is easy to create the matrix of cube object with the help of the script in simple terms so this is a simple you know uh, script to start uh, to work with the scripting in blender so that's all if you like this video please subscribe and thumbs up and if you have any other queries please tell leave please leave your comment below so that I can uh, bring with the answers for you thank you bye